Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to On The House Productions. I'm your host, Brett. And today, we're actually going to be doing a beer review on Stella Artois. Now, Stella, right here, is one of the world's oldest beers. At least it's, you know, still internationally, commercially uh, sold. You can find it at Walmart, H-E-B, if you're in Texas, or really any major department store, even some liquor stores. Stella Artois. Mr. Magnifique. Now, you're gonna want a glass like this. You could drink it from the bottle, but you know, we're classier than that, so we're not doing that. It is indeed a Belgian beer, and it is fantastic. It is not only popular in Belgium, but it is also popular, you know, here in the States. That's why, you know, it's so widely sold here. I'm sure you've seen it on the shelf here and there. Now, not only Am I doing a review on Stella, which, you know, when you pour it, you don't touch the glass. You pour it right. There you go, right there. Look at that. Look at that, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. It is a building block. Mwah. Now, not only am I doing a review on this, but I'm also going to make a very important announcement. You see, on the House Productions is currently doing a getting ready for a collab with. You see, on the House Productions is getting ready to do a collab with. Damn, that's good. Getting ready to do a collab with a mead brewing company called Bone Shard Brewing. We're actually going to be doing some T-shirt sales, so keep that in mind. I'll show you that later at the end of the video. But uh, as you can see, I'm very much enjoying this beer. Now, it's not a super sweet beer, but it's not bitter either. It's like that nice little, it's a nice in between, Stella is, you know? It's very, very beer. It's as if you took sweet and bitter and found that perfect balance, like yin and yang type deal, you know what I'm saying? Now, as far as the scale from 1 to 10, I give it a good, solid 8. I give it 8 out of 10. The reason it's an 8 is because not every beer can be a 10. Not every beer can be a 9. And while it is a good beer, it's been around since 1366. So, you know, they've perfected this beer, okay? It's still not my favorite. But you'll see that one eventually. It is one of those. So, thanks for watching. Just kidding, we're not done. Um, so, Bone Shard Brewing is an up and coming mead brewing company uh, run by a good friend of mine, Colin Firethor. His real name is Corin, it's cool. Um, and I'm about to show you the t shirt design that we're actually getting ready to sell 25 bucks a pop. Uh, you can place orders in the link below, you'll see my email address. Shoot an email there with your name, your mailing address, and we'll figure out if, if you are giving us cash, if you're like someone around here, or if you want to use Cash App or something like that, it's fine. Um, there's currently not an e-store, so it's not like you know normal YouTube channels where you can do that. Granted. This shirt is actually a mix of my channel mascot, which you've seen in the background of my channel art, Spinda, the drunk Pokemon. <laughs> and, it's, and the other part of the mix is Bone Shard Brewing's logo. So, go ahead, check it out. If you like it, great. Uh, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'd be more than happy to uh, get those dislikes as long as you're genuinely meaning it. I need that feedback. Give me a comment. It doesn't matter what the comment is. It helps me out with the algorithm. Helps people find this video so much easier. And it definitely helps me out a ton, just in general. Publicity. All publicity is good publicity, right? So, uh, yeah. Peace out.